Hello and welcome. Just wanted to put together a video about exams. Some of you have got exams coming up. You might have one this week, maybe even tomorrow. Looking at the polls that I put out recently, it looks like most people have got their exam probably this year. Now, it might not be in the May series. It might not be now, but it might be in November. But anyway, we're just going to have a look at what to do in your exam. Just a small video about what you can expect in your exam, what it's going to be like. As I've said many, many times, a good exam starts well before the exam. And my five P's, prior preparation prevents poor performance. So remember the five P's. What that means is revising well before the exam. So revision if should start months before the exam. So if my exam is in May of next year, I'm going to start revising. As soon as the summer holidays end in September, as soon as I get back, I'm starting to revise because it's really, really important and you need that repetition of skills. And I've talked about that in previous videos. You need to go over and over again, the skills that you need to get the knowledge embedded over and over again. So revision should really start before the exams. And I've done a, a video on revision, which I'll link to above. I'm just looking at some of the techniques there. Try and get a good night's sleep before the exam. I put try in italics. If you're anything like me, it's not going to be easy. If you've got something big the next day, it's quite hard to get a good night's sleep. But try anyway, at least rest. Try your best to get a good night's sleep. Try and get a good night's sleep. Do what you need to do to get a good night's sleep because it is important. You need to be rested for the exam. On the day of the exam, I recommend, link in the description, computer science and ICT, I recommend use one of my knowledge organizers to quickly recap the main concepts. What I'd recommend you do, if you can, ideally you get them printed off A3 color, put them on a wall somewhere and just have a quick glance over them. And then once you get ready to go to the exam venue, you need to stop, no more revision then. You've done enough, you cannot possibly do any more now. It is impossible to do any more. You've, you've got enough, you've done enough. So just get ready and go to the exam venue. So when you get there, what do you expect in the exam? You will need to bring a see-through pencil case. Why is that? Because you could be hiding notes or any kind of thing in a non-see-through pencil case. So a plastic bag, if you haven't got got anything else just to put your pens in the things that you need but it does need to be clear it needs to be transparent you need to be able to see through it no mobiles and usually no calculators for my exams for ICT and computer science it is non-calculator and nowadays they're saying no watches either so leave the Rolex at home unfortunately because people have smart watches and smart watches can give you information which you could use in the exam so they just say don't wear a watch so no watches in the exam you will queue outside and be let in slowly. Find your place in the exam. You should have your placeholder where you're going to sit, sit down and be ready to take the exam. Check you've got the right paper. Take a deep breath and wait for the next instructions. That is your time to just calm down. Take a few deep breaths that you need to. Calm yourself down. Be ready. Be mentally prepared. That is your time to get mentally prepared what's in front of you. Don't panic. Remember to bring a black ballpoint pen to write with, erasers, pencils, rulers if you need. If you do forget things, don't worry too much. Usually the examiner's got things they can lend out, but do try and remember to bring your own. You'll need to write in the exam in the black. Write your name and details on the front of the paper clearly. Make sure it's really clear. Your full name not any nicknames or shortened names. Your full name on the front of the paper and your details, candidate number, centre number. Take your time in the exam. Usually, so I've been teaching a very long time, nearly 20 years, and every time I've invigilated an exam, usually 99.9% .9 of the time students finish. Usually you have more time than you need. It's not usual that students need extra time or don't finish. Usually in one of the theory papers, say paper one, computer science that is two hours long students usually finish it in about half that so take your time realize that you will have enough time it's probably going to be more time than you actually need plan your time have a quick look through the paper and think about how many questions you've actually got how long is each going to take 
prioritize time for bigger mark questions. So if my question is eight marks, I would allow 10 minutes. Why? Because that gives me two minutes preparation and planning time. I've talked about that before. Preparation and planning is really important. To allow for an eight mark question, and in the IT paper, you'll have two of them. I would allow 10 minutes each. So a total of 20 minutes for those two eight mark questions. Now, that's quite a lot when you think the exam is an hour and a half, but 16 marks is a lot out of 100, isn't it? 16 marks. You're talking about easily two grade boundaries. You're going to change. You're going to move up with those 16 marks. So actually, it's time well spent. Read the question carefully two to three times before you to make sure you understand exactly what you've been asked to do before you even attempt it. If you've got a practical question, like computer science or programming question, a problem to answer, or an IT, you've got something to do with a spreadsheet, read the question carefully. Make sure you understand it. You don't assume anything and you don't go off and do the wrong thing because in a panic, you didn't read it properly. You kind of read things that weren't there. You, looked, you saw words that weren't there and you didn't do it properly. So read it very, very carefully. And if you do find yourself short of time, you need to be focusing on quality rather than quantity. I would rather see good answers to lots of most questions than poor answers to all the questions, because good answers to most questions is going to maybe it's going to get you a better mark. If you write a really good answer to an eight mark question, you get the full eight marks, then that that is much better than rushing it and doing two eight mark questions but getting two marks each for them, which is getting four marks. So realize that perhaps you might need to think about quality rather than quantity, answering questions well rather than perhaps for you, it might be that you don't finish it, but you answer the questions that you've got in front of you really well. And you can be sure you secured those marks. Watch the time. It's amazing to think that in this, this day and age, some people cannot read an analog clock. They can read a digital clock, not an analog clock so well. A lot of people don't have watches, so telling the time is, is not always, for some people, not always particularly easy to do. But make sure you can, because in your exam room, you're likely to have an analog clock. So make sure you can read it and you can understand how much time you've got left, what the time is now and how much time you've got left. Don't panic and keep watching it. You should be focusing on your exam. But keep an eye on it, because you don't want to run out of time. If you do finish early, and most of you will, as I said, Go over the exam again and again and again if you need to. When I've done exams, I did my schooling a long, long time ago, but I've done exams more recently for jobs and things like that. I've always tried to finish early and make sure I've got 10 to 15 minutes to go through the paper again and again and again, as many times as I can in the time I've got left. Because you spot mistakes, you find things that you could have done a bit better and maybe you can add more to your answers. So aim to perhaps finish early and allow maybe 10 to 15 minutes, or if you do finish early anyway, don't just sit there twiddling your thumbs, doodling or anything like that. Go over the paper as many times as you can. It's worth doing. Make a plan. You're gonna have eight mark questions, so plan them out before. Again, I've done a video on this. I'll link in the description. Eight mark questions should be planned out. And finally, know that I want you to do well. That's the whole point of this channel is I want you to do well. I love hearing your success stories. I love when students tell me they get eights and nines and exceeded their expectations in terms of grades. So I'd like to wish you good luck. Just remember, if in doubt, zoom out. It's important, no doubt about that. Sure is important, but it's just an exam. One of many in your life and the bigger picture it won't be as big a deal as you think it is now. Think of the bigger picture. So zoom out. And think of yourself maybe 10 years time. This was just a stepping stone to bigger and better things. So take it seriously, but not too seriously. Okay. It should be there to, it's just a stepping stone to bigger and better things. I wish you every success and please let me know how you get on. I do like to hear your comments. Share any tips and tricks down in the comments, please. So any tips and tricks for an exam that you've taken that you can share with other people, that's really useful. I want to build up that community. So please do that. I, I like reading your comments. 
And as always, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Bye-bye for now.